All right, guys, time for another fragrance review or just a fragrance first impression, right? Just trying to keep the channel active so this video isn't going to be too long. Knock on chair. I'll probably ramble. You know, I've actually been thinking about doing a review of Herod, an artistic review, because I like those art reviews, but I feel like people don't really watch them, but I think they're more fun, so I still kind of want to do it. But anyway, first impression of some fragrances today. I want to do Montal's Oud Tobacco, and I'm going to do um, the La Mall Perfume, whatever it is that came out more recently. So what do I think about Montal's Oud Tobacco? First impression, mind you, right? I don't know if I'm going to do a full review. Well, the people on Twitter, the Twitter monsters, all these fake social justice warriors would be very mad at me, I'm sure, because when I was thinking of what Montal's Oud Tobacco might smell like, I definitely assumed the gender of Oud Tobacco. It does not smell like I thought it was going to smell, right? For some reason, I was actually getting, for some reason in my mind, I thought that maybe I was going to get something like Oud Vini from Montserrat. I don't know why, but that was kind of what my mind was thinking. But what do I think this smells like, first impression? First of all, Opening blast, this is really out there. This really bothered me, especially because I was not feeling good this morning. And hell, I'm still actually not feeling that great. It's almost the end of the day. I'm still not feeling that good. But this really bothered me. The opening is pretty out there, dude. Like, I'm sure if you like red tobacco or something, you know, the red tobacco opening is pretty out there, too. This is this opening is really, ugh, it's out there, dude. But it quickly dries down into something that I would describe as something if you've ever smelled Yope Om Wild, right? Something like Yope Om Wild, a more harsher, syrupy version of Yope Om Wild, mixed with a little bit of actually date for men, actually, right? And as it dries down into the more dried down, right, that more of that Yope Om Wildness goes back and it comes a little bit more of sort of like a different or sort of version of date for men. I feel like it kind of reminds me of, right? Although I would say in terms of the date for men comparison, um, this doesn't smell like bubble gum per se, the sweetness. This has more of a, and again, even say something like Yopom Wild. When I think of Yopom Wild, the color, the color purple comes to me, right? So date for men, I can think of the color purple, but it's still more of a bubble gum. So I get more of a pink kind of association when I think of it, maybe almost like a magenta or something like that, or a uh, maroon or something like this. But this is definitely, this feels more purple. So almost like a purple kind of pixie stick, syrupy, slightly more harsher version of date for men at that that dry down but yeah that's kind of my that's what i'm actually getting from this extremely out there opening whatever dude and then it dries down quickly and it becomes something more of like a version of yopum wild mixed with a little bit of a sort of a different version of um date for men but you know it's more harsher more syrupy not quite as um not quite as bubble gummy I'm gonna smell it on my hand now. You know, um, that's kind of what that's kind of what I get out of this when I smell it. Would I wear this? The opening is is way too out there for me. As it dries down, it gets a little bit better, but I just I can't see myself ever wearing this personally. What do I think of Lamal perfume? Um, this is definitely something I'm doing. I'm gonna do a first impression of this that I would have to try again. When I smelled this, I instantly thought I'm like, wow, this kind of smells like something like. Lamal and Ultra Lamal, somewhere in between, and I, I got kind of this dry chalkiness of like Dior Homme. And so then when I looked it up online, sure enough, I saw like that iris and everything like that, and I'm like, ah, okay, okay. I haven't seen anyone say Dior Homme, but I definitely got sort of a dry make makeup sticky bag chalky kind of ness out of it. I could smell that aspect of it more so on paper, more so on paper than on skin, but. Um, I see some people comparing this to Baccarat Rouge 540. Dude, totally over my head, dude. I guess I'm going to have to wear, I guess I'm going to have to wear that again, but this doesn't smell anything like that to me. Like maybe the sales associate gave me a bad sample. I'm like, hey, spray it on a piece of paper, spray it on me. You know what I mean? But what do I think of this when I, when I just smelled it offhand? You know what I instantly I thought of? I thought of something like a cross between somewhere in the middle of Lamal and Ultra Lamal, and with a little bit of that Dior Homme dryness, almost chalkiness in the background, and then this dries down 
pretty clean smelling, more more of a more of a clean kind of smell. Like I don't get say from Ultra Le Mall can almost have almost a chocolatey, almost a chocolate steam kind of sweetness can come out of it. I feel like at the end, but uh, this didn't have that. This stayed more of a more freshness. But uh, that's my first impression of these. I know I don't normally do first impressions very rarely, but I just don't have a lot to do fragrance wise, and I'm trying to keep my channel active fragrance wise. I know I have a few uh, samples coming in of some stuff, so maybe I'll do some reviews of those. Um, again, first impression of those fragrances. Keeping my channel active. Fragrance-wise, if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment. It helps the channel. You know, I was thinking, should you guys, do you guys want to see what I look like with a ponytail? Don't make fun of me. I know it's getting long. I know I need a fucking haircut. I know some people are like, Clayton, what do you look like with a ponytail right now if it's so long? Well, I can show you, motherfuckers. I don't think the... I don't think the ponytail is me, dude. Does it make me look more buff? I think if I have the ponytail on, it makes me look a little bit more buff. Right, but I just don't think it's me, dude. Anyway, COVID hair, dude. The end.